right, everybody, today we are talking about the plagal cadence. If you don't know what the plagal cadence is, it's the opposite of our perfect cadence. Um, and so we travel the opposite direction around the circle of fifths when we're playing plagal cadences than we do when we're playing perfect cadences. And what that gives us is that instead of moving down a fifth from five to one to get our resolution, we're moving down a fourth from four to one. Now, I've been getting a lot of questions since Jacob Collier released a video of him talking about this during a master class of drills and ways that you can kind of practice this sound. This sound, obviously all these, all sounds are a part of um, jazz and can be used in our jazz piano playing, but a lot of the standards and a lot of the standard repertoire is not written based around plagal cadences, especially the American songbook and the jazz standards. And so it is a little tricky to start to infuse this into your playing, but once you can get it, it opens up a whole world of happy sounding resolutions, just like Jacob Collier says um, in his masterclass. And so I wanted to go over a couple drills on how to start getting this sound into your hands and how to start practicing it. So the first step that you wanna do, since we're practicing 4-1, we're practicing a major chord resolving down to a major chord. And so we hear this a lot in gospel music, we hear it a lot in R&B and rock and roll. Um, we do hear it in blues and some other things too. And so first thing you wanna make sure that you can do is you wanna be able to start anywhere on the piano and play down in fourths using triads. So if I start out here, here I have an F major chord. If I go down a fourth from here, I have a C major chord and then a G major chord and then D major chord, down a fourth gives me A major, down a fourth gives me E major, down a fourth gives me B major, down to F sharp, down to D flat, and so on. We're just going around the circle of fifths backwards, down a fourth goes to E flat, down a fourth goes to B flat, down a fourth goes back to F. So that was one lap around the cycle. Now, I was kind of trying to stick with root position chords there, but really when you're practicing this, you want to be able to move through the circle going down fourths but trying to use your inversions and staying in position here so if i started on a try to flow to an easy inversion nearby so that I can create and practice good voice leading. Okay, So that's the first thing. Practice starting in all these different spots and working your way through the circle of fourths, moving, resolving down fourths. The next drill will be to take a bass note and it's going to stay the same but we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to start here with a C chord and we're going to go down fourths in the right hand against a C in the left hand. And so what this is gonna happen is it's gonna sound pretty good in the first three or four chords after we start, and then it's gonna get more and more dissonant as we get a, a, a basically across the universe from our home key in the circle of fifths. And then as we get closer and closer to coming back, it's gonna start to sound better and better. And so this one can be tough on the ears about halfway through, but as you keep practicing it, it starts to resolve itself. So here we go, we start out with C. Then we move it down to G over C, and then D over C, A over C. It's going to get a little bit out, E over C, B over C, F sharp over C, D flat over C, A flat over C, it's starting to come back, E flat over C, uh, B flat over C, sorry, F over C, and then back to C. So it started in, it got dissonant, and then it may it busted through and it got a little more consonant as we got closer back to C. So here's again. And you want to take that and you want to practice that in the 12 different keys aiming with this uh, left hand. So you want to start on G, start here on G, move through D, A, and the same cycle is going to happen over and over again, right? So you want to, this is getting used to hearing that right hand move. Now, this is what we hear a lot in rock and roll. We might hear these layered fourths, right? Or we might hear a C, F, or we might even work a couple, move up a few fourths and work backwards to get to the root. Like here's E five. It gives us these kind of cascading major chords all returning to the tonic. Okay. 
So I'll start with those first two drills and start working your way around the circle. And then the next one is kind of a little riff that I kind of heard Jacob Collier, he played something like this in his uh, master class that he gave. And so it's just a little lick that we designed. So we start on F, we're basically gonna be going around the circle of fourths, down fourths. Now if I go down fourths and then I jump up and do that same thing a whole step higher, that is actually a way to think about going down in fourths that kind of keeps everything uh, in the in a nice range on the piano. And so I played a little lick here. He plays something like this in uh, in his in his lecture when he's giving an example about Keith Jarrett. Something along those lines. And then I moved that, kept that going. And that's kind of a nice, fun, kind of sounding uh, plagal cadence, practice drill riff. So here it is again. Right. So anyways, why don't you try out those three plagal cadence drills this week, see if you can start to absorb the sound. Um, and then how you work it into tunes and improvisation and playing, well, that's going to be kind of up to you. Uh, obviously, if we're free improvising or if we're jamming or we're playing on a vamp or creating our own chord changes, it's very easy to use this. Uh, but if you're practicing a tune like All the Things You Are, or My Funny Valentine, or My Romance, one of the American songbook tunes, the base of the harmony is built upon these perfect cadences. So once we add in these plagal cadences, we have to be careful not to make a substantial difference on accident to the harmony of the tune. So anyways, happy practicing. Hope you took something out of this video and we'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.